the channel. Today we are working on the 84 Super here. And if you have an older car like this, chances are you've spilled some coffee in it, maybe some food's gotten underneath the seat, maybe your kids spilled their milk in it or something like that. But older cars tend to generate something of a weird aroma inside. So we're going to show you how to clean your car out and get rid of that smell. Not mask it, but actually make the smell go away. So stay tuned. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below. Let me know what other kinds of stuff you want to see on the channel or how you would use this device around your house. Now the first step, of course, is to get inside the car, go underneath the seats, and steam clean the car. Get any material out that might be causing the weird smell. So if you find food or stains or things like that, go through the car, make sure you get everything out of the car and cleaned out before you move on to the deodorizing process. So we've all seen those little Christmas tree things you hang from the rearview mirror, and those are neat, but all they do is they mask the smell. So now your car smells like the Christmas tree air freshener and whatever the weird smell is. So today we're gonna be showing you this guy. And what this is, this is an ozone generator. And uh, ozone is a gas that's actually an oxidizer. It'll help oxidize the weird smells that are going on in your car. And this isn't weird voodoo science. This is a real deal thing. If you've ever dealt with um, smoke in homes, maybe after a brush fire or after a home fire, these are the things they use to get that smell out of the home. This also works with cigarette smell and things like that. So doing this in your car is a pretty easy process. Now this particular ozone generator is designed specifically for cars, so it does come with a 12 volt adapter. You can also get a 12 volt to 110 adapter if you do want to use this in one of the rooms of your house, but this one is designed for your car. So this one is going to plug right into your dash, into your 12 volt socket, and then the next thing you're going to want to do is actually key the car over so you can run the vents. And the reason you want to run the vents is you want to make sure this circulates, so pardon the noise, and you want to set it so it's blowing out through the feet. And that's why we have this thing down here. So now the air from the car is gonna come out and it's gonna help recirculate that around the car. This is also because you're running your vents and you want them to be running on recirculate. This is gonna cause that ozone to be pulled through your vents and also help deodorize your vents. Now, I'll turn this off for a second so you can hear me. Now, the ozone is an oxidizer. It is not good for you to breathe in. So what the nice thing about this thing is, is that it's got the on-off switch right there on the top and it runs for 12 minutes and then it shuts itself off. So to start the process, we are going to flip the air conditioning all the way to high. Again, confirm that it's on recirculate, coming out of the foot wells, and we're gonna come down here and turn it on. And as soon as you turn it on, you wanna get out of the car as fast as possible. Once 12 minutes are up, the thing automatically turns itself off. You wanna open up your doors and let the car vent out for a little bit before going back in the car to let all that ozone out of the car. And that is all there is to it. The best, the only way to really truly get odors out of your car is with an ozone generator. Don't use those chemicals and the things that mask up the smell. Get rid of it completely. Pick yourself up one of these things. You can reuse it over and over and over again. It'll pay for itself over time. So if this video helped you out at all, give me a great big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel and let me know what other kind of stuff you want me to show you how to do or test out. Thanks for watching.